Hello there, dear sweet world. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. With my expert college student cosplay here. I know. I'm killing it. Kill and it. Yes. Got my oversized hoodie. Got my pupper doggo. Okay, so most college students probably don't have a pupper doggo, but I do. So, yeah, I am a cool kid who totally knows what the college kids do these days. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know that was awkward. If you want to see even more awkward, we're going to put Heather through college, who we recently just de-aged from a young adult, or from an adult to a young adult, so she can go to college. She's kind of a vampire who's been living for... Roughly two generations, so, you know, that'll be interesting. We'll see how she responds. Oh my goodness, they're all sitting right here. All the results. I'm freaking out. Okay. I've had Lilith show up at my door before. Thankfully, I learned from when Vlad showed up the first night to keep my doors locked at night. Well, I married Lilith, so you never know. It might turn out well. We'll go one at a time. I'm just going to have her open all of them. What are these two? Great outdoors, friends of the animals. Yeah, we'll just go this way. The biggest one should be the workplace scholar, but I honestly don't know. So we're just gonna go real slow and open one at a time. This is a big day. Okay, congratulations, Heather. You won the scholarship Future Star, valued $200. Okay, $200 isn't very much. Uh, I'm not actually sure how much our schooling will be. Hopefully it's also not that much. <laughs> okay, $200. I don't even remember what the Future Star scholarship was, so I'll take it. Okay. Next. Oh, yes. Oh, she's excited. Okay. Oh, oh yibs. Let's do the next one. Oh! <gasps> Congratulations, Heather won the scholarship Food and Drink, valued at $200. Again, $200 is not very much, but food and drink? We can't even eat or drink. Hell yeah! That's a surprise one. I didn't think we'd get that. I'll take it. Okay, what's next? We may not even need to join the soccer club in university. Oh, we are sorry to inform Heather that she has not been awarded the Building the Future Scholarship. Better luck next time. I would have put money down, actual scholarship money, that we would get the Building the Future handyman scholarship over the food and drink. We fix everything in our house by ourselves. We actually have a decent amount of skill in that. And we can't even eat and drink. So where's the line here? I don't know. It's fine. Whatever. It's fine. Better luck next time. <sighs> next one. Congratulations, Heather won the scholarship. Great outdoors. Okay, $200 for our minimal, very minimal gardening skills we have. Excellent. You know, I'll take it. Haritomo, do you keep trying to fill the Japan-shaped hole in your heart with ethnic food too. It's true. Tim and I realized today that every weekend so far since we gotten home, we've sought out Japanese food. So we went to Wajimaya in International District one day and got onigiri. Um, then we made onigiri in our house. This weekend, we have already eaten ramen and takoyaki. And tomorrow... Uh, I actually uh, bought a Japanese bread pan. Did you know that they make square square bread using a literal square pan, like covered, so it can't go anywhere? Like how they make a square watermelon? They do that for bread. <laughs> and so we bought one of those. We're going to make, we found a recipe for Jap excuse me, Japanese milk bread, the bread that they use for their sandos in the kombinis and we're gonna make a tamago sando oh, i'm so excited for those of you that don't speak japanese that is an egg salad sandwich 
and you can't even fathom how amazingly good they are in Japan. If we can get it half as good, we will be winning. So that is our goal tomorrow. I really hope it works out. I'm so excited. Okay. Every time I hear you say the Sims name, I start looking around like my mom is calling me. Oh, sorry, Loki. <laughs> Who said she can't use the food and drink scholarship to learn the stuff she needs to buy and run a bakery or something? True. True. Everything I cook is ethnic. I was born in the ethnic. You were merely introduced to the ethnic. I'm sorry, Hartimo. I'm sorry. <sighs> Wrong kind of ethnic, though. Jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're not white AF. True. Did you know they have square watermelons? Yes. They're sweet. They grow them in a box. It's not even like really a box. It's more like a clear plastic cage. They lock them in. Did you try the canned bread? It's supposed to be pretty good. I did not find any canned bread. I actually looked, but I didn't find any. Patotes, we've been making soba, beef don, udon so much. Oh yeah, we also made a, um, a rice bowl the other day. That was really good with like sushi rice and seaweed and like, mmm. Mm. Chef asshole explosion in your mouth. Oh, so good. I miss Japan. Okay, what's next? What's next? This is the animal one up next. Did we get the animal one? <gasps> $400! What, what? Yes! Congratulations, Heather won the scholarship. Friend of the animals for 400 Yes, so there are higher level ones. I thought, I was starting to think they were all like 200 level. Korea's next. Yes. Two years, Haritomo. Two years. I'm, this is on my calendar. This is priority number one for my vacations right now. I need to get back to Japan and I would also like to go to South Korea or Korea's. So in two years time, we'll be going to the Korea's and Japan. If anyone would like to come with us, you're more than welcome to. This is what we're doing. <laughs> I don't know what we'll be doing in the meantime because my aunt has made a request that I come visit her in Europe. So we're toying with the idea. I don't know that I really want to go to Europe again though. It's been a hot second since I've been there but I don't really want to go anyway. Um, I of course want to see my aunt. I want to go just to see her and to like see where she's living now and she's like living in one country and commuting to another country and for work and so I'd like to see both both of those countries again but and I'd like to see Italy before it sinks into the ocean but I'd rather go to Asia again is that bad I really I just want to live in Asia guys I'm broken can we just like take a second Just really think about everything we're missing in Asia right now and how much better our life could be if I just like up and move to Asia. I seriously considered just applying for a language school in Japan so that I could live there. <laughs> oh, I don't want to be here anymore. I just want to go back to Japan. My whole brain chemistry was, like, different there. I did not have my depression. You don't know how much, like, maybe you do. Maybe you have experienced it. But how amazing it is to go somewhere and just, it's gone. Like, what? How even? Like, I'm sure it would come back eventually because... Once you live in a country, you start having to get a job and, you know, doing the day-to-day -day things that cause stress. But, oh, I just want to go back. I just want to go back now. Two years. Two years. That's on my calendar. I'm sticking to it. I don't know if I'm going to do fall or spring again. Hartimo, do you have any input on that? Would you like to go in fall or spring I kind of want to see all parts of the year eventually in there, the, the Asia land, but yeah. Okay. Oh, get that money. I know. I'm so excited. We got that $400 scholarship. 
and I need more money to go to Asia. <laughs> okay. Uh, Flower Garden is one Epic of the areas. Fail. Epic fail. Is it? Uh, the areas has a vending machine with it and crickets in a can. Mm, I've had bugs. They're just not the best. Like, I don't know. They're more of a novelty thing. I know this because of YouTube and somebody's tour of Tokyo's vending machines. Oh, dude. Okay. Speaking of touring of vending machines. Oh, no, Grandma. I'm coming for you. Oh, no, Grandma. Are, are Aiko and Nitro here? Because does Kit Kat have a sound effect? She should. I don't remember what it is, but... Yeah, she should. Okay, anyway, speaking of vending machines, um, have you guys ever heard of the creepy vending machine corner? In <sighs> That was hard to mow. That was totally hard to mow. Ding! It's the gong. Um, yeah, apparently that creepy vending machine corner is like kitty corner from our hotel. And so at like, eh, it may have been like, Midnight one in the morning, Tim and I decided to wander over there and try to find it. And I don't know if it closes at night or they cleaned it out, but we could not find it. We wandered everywhere. That is the worst sound effect, and I keep telling myself I'm going to deactivate it, and yet it's still here. I hate that sound effect for Tim. Uh, okay. I've eaten a cricket, <laughs> says Tim. Cool. Um, hack a computer. Hack a computer. I'm a secret agent, so I hack a computer. You think I'll get in trouble? No, I hack a computer. I'm a secret agent, so I hack a computer. Oh, that's Spectre. Let's play Name That uh, Community Member. Because I made sounds for you all. <laughs> Soul is pretty awesome from what I've heard. Yeah, so Tim's brother actually goes to South Korea pretty darn frequently for his work. Or at least he used to. I think he's stationed in a new place now. Holy shit, that was loud. That was loud. Why would you do that? Um... But yeah, he's told us all about Korea. And I'm really excited to go because I haven't been to South Korea before. Loki. Treat yourself. I cannot be in e Asia. It comes back. Why not have a winter fall home there? Because group vacation one. Yes, that would be great. Uh, yeah, the whole like owning property in different countries can get a, a little messy. So, yeah, maybe it's something to consider. Uh, vacays, holiday breaks. Yeah, that's the thing. As an adult, you don't get holiday breaks. So you kind of make your own. You have to save up your, your vacation allowance and then just decide to go. Whatever you want. Provided you have vacation allowance. Otherwise, you don't get paid. <laughs> and then you lose your house and your car and your family. And you're on the streets. <laughs> Spring? Yeah. Uh, you can stress, then go get some pizza takoyaki with 7-Eleven onigiri. So true. So true. Just eating all the delicious Japanese food just makes any stress you could have melt away. As long as it's not Japanese Wendy. Wendy's. Because apparently, Japanese Wendy's turns my insides to liquids and... I get super sick and p pass out in a train station and Timmy has to run around and find a restroom and then he slowly walks me to said restroom because I can't walk by myself and the security dude for the train station is watching us with his side eye and he's like, what the hell? But in Japanese, so we can't really understand, but I know what he's saying. And when you get to said restroom, you're like, this place is lovely. It was one of the most beautiful restrooms I have ever seen. They don't have, like, gaps in between the little stalls like they do in America. It was, like, beautiful wood grain, fully sealable. When I walked in, it started playing waterfall and bird noises to cover up my expulsion of everything in my body. And it had a heated 
seat and a bidet so I could clean myself up so I could get myself home. Actually, we didn't even go to the hotel afterwards because after I got the Wendy's out of my body, I was good to go. And we went and we got some like udon or something. I don't even remember what we got, but it, that was delicious. Yeah. Yeah. The Wendy's was really good though. At least like eating it. They had bubble tea. They had like shake shake fries where they're fries with the seasoning in it and you shake the bag and Mm, mm, mm. Those are probably what made me sick because they were chicken flavor. That's probably what did it. But I also had a burger, which was really good. But, you know, things happen. It's fine. It was the only time I got sick on the entire trip. So I will take that. <laughs> totally. Uh, fall slash spring is good for Hokkaido. Okay, so either one. Cool. We can plan for whenever. Want to see the Forbidden City in China? I am avoiding China and Hong Kong and all those places right now. It's getting a little scary. A little scary. Da, 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 da. We're thinking of spending more time at a different city this time. Osaka is the opposite of Tokyo. Where Tokyo is modern and convenient, Osaka is spared from the World War II bombings. Yeah, so Kyoto and Osaka are the two places you'd probably want to go if you're not doing Tokyo. Uh, Kyoto is actually more um, historical and they have a lot of shrines and like that's the totally Instagrammable place. Osaka is kind of a mix. It's like the hybrid Kyoto Tokyo with food. They're very heavy on the food. Uh, Hokkaido on the far northern tip of Japan, they are heavily food, but they're also considered like the back country of Tokyo. But we went to the Hokkaido food festival. So, you know, they do the beer, the dairy, the meat. That's what they're, they're known for. Um, creepy vending machine corner. I don't want to know what they sell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Yeah, you don't want to know. <laughs> if you want to look it up, you can. Uh, basically, it's like random stuff. Like random, random stuff. Plus, these things they call mystery boxes, which are little boxes wrapped in white paper. And they have like a little dirty saying or story on them. And sometimes inside the mystery box is just the continuation of that story. And it's basically like porn just written out in beautiful Japanese. Um... You know, it's it's a thing. <laughs> Should I be worried? Yeah. Loki's is too quiet. Yeah, it's not a good quality one. Sorry. Um, do, 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 do. Pinch your yen. Da, 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 da. Your gasha coins. Yes. Oh, Tim, have you told Hartimo about Paka Paka? You should. Basically, okay, I'll tell everyone. Basically, Funko is starting their own version of, like, a gachapon machine. Uh, I saw the first one today. It's so cool. Uh, cool, but it needs some tweaks. Like, they don't give you... It has a digital screen on it instead of just the thing on the top that's, like, this. these are the possibilities. And so they need to make it more clear what, you're, what the possibilities are without having to, like, tap into the screen so you can just, like pass by and be like, oh, I want that one. Um, and also they use tokens. And so they need like an associated vending machine where you put in your money and you get your token. So you can just get a pile of tokens and stick them in the machine. Um, yeah. They could use some work. But the toys inside, adorable. Adorable. I'm really excited. Oh, okay. Oh no, you got wrecked by Wendy Chan. Yes. Yes. Wendy fucked me over. Japanland. This story speaks to me on a spiritual level. Uh, okay, what's the home of the Emperor of China? I don't know the full story. Okay. Important question. What's the important question, Spectre? I finally made it to this point in the chat. What's the important question? And then we have two scholarships left to open. When are we watching more Terrace House? Oh, very important question. Um, when do you want to? Should Sunday be like our movie slash TV watching day? Because I think that's a good idea. I now have Amazon Prime, Netflix, and Disney Plus. 
And there are excellent things to watch on all of them. So we need to watch uh, Nailed It. We need to watch uh, My Hero. Holy crap, we need to watch My Hero. I was really craving that show today. And um, Terrace House. Tim and I are currently caught up on the current season of Terrace House because we needed to be... (laughs) Because we needed to be for going to Tokyo. We needed to know where we could find these people. (laughs) Bah! Uh, yeah. Sad air horn is sad. <laughs> oh no. Blame Tim. That glass sound though. That glass. Um Yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say. It's gotta be tactile though. Like I wanna turn a bitch for that gotcha. Yes, it does. It does have, I did see that, like a little turner thing. So you stick your thing in, you press the buttons on the screen, and then you turn it, and then it drops. So they did have the tactile bit. So Joel, you can defeat me. Needs work, has potential, yes. Uh, So yeah, is Sunday good? Is Sunday good to watch things? We also need to figure out how we're going to watch things. Is there like a screen share? I don't know. (sighs) Oh. Class gag, yes. You know who I miss? Fluid, yes. Yes. Nailed it. Oh no, Kiki, you work Sundays? Why? Sunday is the Lord's Day of Rest. You should not be <sighs> working. Mm. Okay, what do you say? Should we open these last ones? Because work sucks. It's terrible. Wait, don't you work at like the dollar store or something? Dollar, uh, I thought Dollar Tree. Bear, 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 a bear joke. Bear, 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 bear. Ah. Um. Yeah, aren't they religious anyway? So they should totally be closed. I don't know. Ah, uh, grape pea isn't a thing. No, fluid was the thing. Yeah, why are we testing everyone's sounds anyway? I'm very confused. Not from what I know of. <laughs> I don't want to close. Yeah. Oh, look at her go! Heather is busting a move over that $400. Hell yeah. Nice. Sizable scholarship from earning a wait was that a large from earning large scholarship rising cost of education make rising scholarships more rewarding ooh she's feeling super confident we should make a vlog okay what's the next one Zagul. Yeah! wait I didn't Go see it I oh okay Heather has won the scholarship forgotten hollow I have my fire. <laughs> uh, I'd like to suggest a sound for mine. A laughing hyena. Okay, sure. God, I wish I could have, I would have applied to more scholarships in school. Same. Same, 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 Tim. I had no idea. I was not ready for college coming out of high school. I was like, mm, bitch, I own this place. Oh, yeah. I'm going to choose the most expensive private school. Um, bad idea. (laughs) I did get a lot of scholarships just because I kind of stumbled into them because I did really well. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. That's what happened when you graduated and you got the bill for that school. Sad tuba. Yeah. Uh... That's why you don't go to college and just start your own HR firm. Yeah, that sounds good. I like it. Okay. So, we got $200 just for living in Forgotten Hollow. I'll take it. It's time to do, 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 do. 
Cool. Okay, last scholarship. What's it gonna be? This is the one that we should get big money. But if they're considering 400... 300? <laughs> I got more for loving animals than the level 10 career I built up. I am at the top of the career. And I only got 300? Bish, please. Oh, my. <sighs> I don't know how this works. We're going to find out. Okay, select the university, select the degree, housing selection, and then you get your tuition. Okay. Each term lasts one week. What? So choose a university to attend for this term. Each term lasts one week? One week. Can you guys imagine? I. <laughs> You can get your degree so fast. One week. Okay. I don't know how many terms it takes to get your degree, though. So, I don't know. We'll see. Texter. Cringes at lost. How do you know how it's said? Jeez, Loki. <laughs> that, that is what I have. Bright tex... No, I have been saying bright texter. Because it's a tech, right? Bright text. No, I, I sounded it out. Let me let me go back here. Brit. There's it's not. Brit. Oh, we're splitting it up in different places because I see bright tech Esther. So bright tech Esther. Whereas you're you're chunking it up at bright Chester. Because I kind of chunked it off as Brit, because it's more the British, like, Cambridge University. So, Bright, Brit, British, Britchester, Britchester, Britchester. That's what I'd say, Britchester. Rather than Brightchester. Anyway. Coming to PC, November 26, 2019, new map called Four Corners, intended for multiplayer farms co-op, will allow farmers to have separate gold balances from one another. Oh, <gasps> yes! You know if your friends are to spend thrift in your cranberry province. New farm building fish ponds for raising fish and collecting their eggs. New hairstyles. I heard character creation. Did you hear character creation? I heard character creation. I heard like five hours of character creation. I'm on board. <laughs> uh, stackable signs and chests, thank goodness. Ability to take a screenshot of your entire farm in one image or any other area. And 14 heart events with your spouse. I've never made a spouse. I've barely made a friend. I have barely introduced myself to any uh, of the villagers. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh Tally! Hello! Hello! That sounded like Miss Delphire. Hello! Well, that didn't. Whoa. I don't know what, what that voice was at all. It was like my voice cracking while howling. I don't know. Hi, Bella! Come here. Come here, baby. Good girl. Do you want to say hello to everyone? Bella, can you yodel? Yodel? You only yodel when you're, like, distressed, though. So what's Three Legends? Uh, look it up. It is like Pokemon and Stardew had a baby, pretty much. And Tim and I wanted to play it. And it's multiplayer. Why are you shaking? Why are you shaking, baby? Don't shake. Wait, how am I still subbed? <laughs> Too many good games these days. It's true. There really are. Two days left. Oh, okay. Hi. 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 What do you think, Bella? Do you call it Bright Tech, Bright Brightchester, or Britchester, Britishire, Baloney? <laughs> Ow! You just like no, no, no. We're not licking my face. Can you sit down? Did we feed the puppos dinner? No, we did not. They. Oh, it's already seven o'clock. Wow. And you're not like crying. Bella, why don't you go get some food? 
Go here, food. Bye. She's like, you're giving me food, yes? She stopped in the doorway and is staring at me expectantly. Look at this little girl. Oh, good stretch. Oh, yes. Why don't you grow some thumbs and get your own food? You gonna let yourself have some food? Yeah, food for dinner? Yeah? Yes? Oh, you gonna push me around? I see how it is. You gonna get the food? Bye. <laughs> she's so funny. Oh, she's back with Fred. She brought reinforcements. Okay. Oh, actually, Tim series feeding the cats, I think. Uh, what about making the E silent and just calling it Britchester? Did you tell him? Yeah, I like Britchester. And how he'll no. never play basketball again. <laughs> no, I'm not going to tell them about Wilson. I'm very sad. I'm not even going to tell you. That tail intense wagon commences. Seems like it should be bright Chester. That's what Loki said. I call it. What was I saying? It Britchester. Cause I see Brit. First, rather than Bry. I don't know. It's not split up very well, for reading. Brit Etch Esther. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Brit Etch. Brit Etcher. But, I don't know. It's very confusing. I cannot pronounce the name of the school. Hmm. Okay. So. Apparently. If you are. If you go to one school or the other, they have distinguished degrees rather than degrees. And it says due to the University of oh, shit. Um Britchester. I'm totally saying Brit and Tech. Brightchester? Should we just go with Brightchester? I'm gonna say it differently every time. We're just gonna go with all of them. Due to Bright Bright <laughs> I just made a new one up. Brightchester. Uh, prestige in the arts of study. This distinguished degree allows for entering at high level with a large signing bonus while greatly increasing daily pay, job performance, and vacation days. So we're going to go for a distinguished degree no matter what it is. Call it britches. I like that. Thank you, Harjamal. This is the University of Britches. Also known as bitches. <laughs> We're gonna do that. I did consider communications. To study one another, one must first learn how to communicate with one another. With an emphasis on building the charisma, writing, and logic skills, all of which she already has, which would be good. The communications degree is a big help to anyone looking to work effectively in a professional environment. University of Pants. With beer pong and keg. It is juice pong. Thank you very much. See, I do know a thing or two. <laughs> I want to live in student housing my first year. Or first term. And then I'll get a feel for whether I want to rent a space. Maybe with other people. Or... Maybe I'll get into a fraternity or sorority the first term. And then I could open up that housing? Is that a thing? Because none of these have any affiliation. So maybe... I don't know. Let's find out. I'm excited. I have intrigue. Okay, so... Drama degree class, The Tempest Inside... L uh, drama degree class, Love Labor's Law. Drama degree class, 12th Nightclub. Drama degree class, Comedic Errors. And University Housing, Drake Hall, Scholarships. Doop, 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 doop. All of them. I got a merit scholarship. What? What is that? How'd I get that? That's 500 bucks. Sweet. Total cost... 
Zero dollars! Yes! Oh, yes! Okay. Pay with household funds? No. Pay with student loans. Oh, yeah. Symbol O cost plus interest. Wait. No, I have no cost. What? You can pay student loans? Instead, if you don't have funds? That's so cool. So you can still go to college even if you can't afford it now. They never had that before. Simple O cost plus interest. Loan amount will belong to the student. That's so cool. Paying with household funds, tuition taken from the household funds, paying with student loan. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm going to pay with funds just in case there is some sort of cost that pops up. But I'm so excited. Zero dollars. We're going to college, guys. <sighs> Split from household and move. And I'm going to move some money over. She needs like, what, $2,000 for a week? This is really cool. You can finally split your household money. Can I bring my dog with? Oh, not allowed. Okay. Okay, we're doing this. We're actually doing this, guys. Oh my god, we're doing this. Time for juice kegs and nights we don't remember. Hell yeah. Campbox. Porto Pill? This little buddy's... Got you covered. Turn your room in from drab to fab with the Porto Pal. These figurines are sure to brighten anyone's day. Um, Timmy? Are you seeing these? Because these look a little bit like they might be designed by a company you may or may not work for. They totally have the blocky heads and little bodies. They're just missing the eyeballs. Well, this one has eyeballs. It's meant to... <laughs> Make your room fab. The little Porto Pal. That's hilarious. I'm pretty sure Tim designed these. <laughs> you could sell them for $140. Or simoleons at least. Did you know that, Tim? My reputation is like off the charts. Okay. With this here laptop, I will write a term paper. But first... I'm gonna have a deep conversation with this woman I just met and then go to, oh, hello. You look prissy. Are you in a secret society? Julia Wright. She could totally be in a, universe, uh, a secret society. Young adult, okay. Stop talking to her. We must talk to her. Why are we browsing books? I did not tell you to browse books. Oh, who are you? Friendly. Oh, there's so many people. Guys, what do we do when there's so many people? She's a good girl. Look at this beautiful baby. I love her so much. What is Fred doing? What did Fred do? Did you hear him? Whoa! Oh! What is happening? Okay, are they just like waiting here for me? What is happening? Okay, um... Cool! Yeah, we'll just greet everyone, why not? I think we know most of them. Yeah, this whole side we know. These ones we do not. So we will have to uh, introduce ourselves and uh, yeah, here we go. Ready? Hi, cutie. Uh, everyone's like, yes, you live here. We live with a celebrity. Uh, what? The girlfriend wants to have a flirty introduction. So, that's a thing. Girlfriend may actually be into me instead of roommate. That could be awkward, but you know, it is me. It's fine. 
<laughs> Who starts school on Christmas? We need to decorate, be festive and jolly with friends and family. To participate, use festive socials, such as light a holiday tree, ask if good or bad. Okay. Open presents. Have a grand meal. I don't cook or eat. And uh, catch Father Winter. Well, we're best friends with Father Winter, so I'm pretty sure uh, we could just call him and invite him to our festive party. Oh, I was gonna invite Santa Claus. Did I invite Santa Claus? I think I did. Did I? I don't know. Shoot. Uh, did I invite Mr. Claus? We're like BFF, so he's gotta come. There he is, Clement. Um, invite to hang out at current lot. This is very important. Santa needs to show up at my party. Because what else am I supposed to do? This is the, this is the best keg party on the first day of classes. On Christmas, Santa needs to show up. I gotta let everyone know what's up. Okay. Yeah, Santa Claus! Up in the house! I'm gonna give him a gift. I'm gonna give Santa Claus another cheeky gnome. Should I give him that? Or I could give him a lemon. I'm gonna give Santa Claus a lemon. I don't remember inviting you, but sure. I will go talk to you. I gotta be funny and belly laugh because it says I have to. Look, I invited Santa Claus. Uh, he ap appears near fire fireplaces at 8 p.m. Well, it is 10 a.m. and I invited him to a kegger, so... <laughs> when are my classes? And do I need to, like, get myself there on my own? Or... Oh, 1.30... And 11. Shit, what? No one told me I had to go to class. I have to do this on my own? You've got to be kidding me. I'm lucky I looked. I got to remember how to go to class on my own. Uh, I've heard stilly things about you. We'd like to offer... This is um, Mr. Maui. Uh, to be an astronaut? Mr. Maui, I'm sorry. You are not an astronaut. You barely wear a shirt. You live on an island and want to be a mermaid. No, I'm not going to work as an astronaut for you. I'm sorry. I keep track of my own schedule, which we just realized. So we've missed like the first half hour of class. And I feel like I need to write this down to remember when I have class. Okay, hold up. Okay, Maui, why are you calling again? Why are we sad? Morning? Losing a good friend? What? We just got out of class. Who died? It's hard to see someone go. Heather can find some comfort in mourning those who have passed at their tomb or blah, blah, blah. What? 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 I'm so confused. Who died? We were literally throwing a keg party. The keg party hasn't even ended yet. It is Christmas. And the very first day of classes, because I'm the genius who decided to start university on the day of Christmas. So I'm like, let's throw a beginning school year keg party. And I happen to know Father Christmas personally, so I invited him thinking, oh yeah, totally, everyone will love it. But then I realized we have class during the keg party, so I had to run away from my own party, which is still going on. And now I get out of class and find out someone died? What what kind of day is this? I don't even understand. <sighs> okay, Heather put in enough work to get a decent grade out of that class, though she saw some other students seeming to learn more proactively. Still, Heather thinks this will help with her final grade. I did all my homework, and I already wrote my term paper, and this is day one, and you're saying I'm not a good enough student? Is this because I missed the first half hour of class because 
No one told me I had to keep track of my own schedule. Even my work calls me and says, you have to go to work in an hour. Would you like to do so? No, this class did not do that. Oh, okay. And we need some fun. So let's play some games for a sec. And then... And then start working on homework because apparently we're just a bad student. Like, what? It was day one. I'm still pissed about that, okay? It, it's day one. And you're saying I'm not doing as well as the other students? Who are these other students? Ugh. Okay. I'm going to edit my term paper. I'm going to... They gave us no instructions for university. Okay, I'm done. I... Just so worked up. I'm gonna email my professor about the Twelfth Night Club, because that's the one that we just were in class for. And then I'm gonna make sure I finished all my homework. Oh, I have to do it again because I just had mm, okay. I have to do it for the tempest inside. Okay, guys. True story, university's hard. You have to keep track of your own schedule. There's way too many things to do. You can't throw any parties because apparently it's just Christmas and you're already failing by day one. Ugh. Okay. I need to give a presentation. Shoot, this is already the last day of class and I haven't even done my presentation board. And my homework is barely done. Uh, and... I have to go to class now? Oh my god, I missed the first half of class again! Shit, I need to go to class. Don't do anything else, just go to class. How? How do I keep missing class? At least I did the homework? I thought I was, I thought I was ahead of the game. I thought I was way ahead of the game doing my homework before we even had our first class. But no. Oh my god. This is hard, guys. We're not going to be able to join any extracurriculars. I had high hopes. Okay, after class, then we're going to play the game. And then we have to just live on homework forever. This is bullshit. <laughs> University was not this hard. I got two majors and two minors, and it was not this hard. She's only taking four classes right now. Come on. This is bullshit. Uh, okay, edit. I understand why there's the cheat option now. I'm going to email that professor still because I'm still pissed about it. Okay, there's too many things. Let's just make sure she gets to class first. Go to class. You're already a half hour late. Why don't they tell you that a class is starting? Come on. I can't like set an alarm or something. Oof. Oh my god. Okay. What are you guys saying? Because this is just, just taking up all my, all my time and patience. Okay. I was going for the whole college student thing. I don't know. What? Look at this fucker. Oh, hi. I'm sorry. I don't have time for you. But, that is the coolest mascot ever. If I had time, I would stop and, like, talk to you. I, what are my options? Spray with sting spray? Okay, that's rude. Ask about your career. Clearly, we got a career going on. Perform romance scene for tips. It's something you'd do in college. I'm just gonna go with that. We don't have time. We don't have time. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to pause for a second so I can collect myself. We're going to chat it out, guys. It's okay. Oh, prepared for the next one. You, yeah, I'm prepped for the next one when you assign it. Yes, get those papers in Zendar. We run a strict ship here. Must must do good. Must College is great until you have to actually learn things. Yeah, I spew my emotions into my homework. That's the saddest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> it's true. I want to know how good that homework is. Dorm looks like a slightly fixed up crack house. It probably is. Probably. It's a good ass dorm. My dorm was way nicer. I feel like the dorms on the other university might actually be better, but we chose the wrong university, clearly. This one expects too much. 
Guess she's the type of sim who would rather work than deal with her emotions. Relatable. True. True. When you, when you put it in that way, so true. Had to add the numbers because someone stole my name. Oh, no. My daughter in college was a crack house. Yeah. Sounds about right, Jack. But look at you now. You're great. Uh, sounds like a dorm. They gave us no instructions for university, just like real life. It's true. It's true. They just dump you in, and you are not prepared. Coming out of high school, I was not prepared for college. I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, just decorate my old room with cameras and radios. Just gotta remember, C's d get degrees. That is true. That is the realest thing. Yeah. That I've heard in a while. Actually, when I got the job I'm in now, they actually did ask me my overall GPA. And I was like, okay. Like, good thing it was a good one, but wow. What you do is just go to trade school so you don't have to do generals. True. Can't you email with your smartphone? That's a good question. Uh, I have too many options on here because I am a celebrity and it takes a lot of my time. Uh, email professors about progress. Hard to know you're a genius. You're a fucking genius. Uh, sit in on a skill class? Wow. Um, withdraw from the term. Yeah, when I get too overwhelmed, I'm just gonna leave. Actually, when I get too overwhelmed, I'm just gonna book a celebrity cleanse. Because I'm a celebrity, bitch. I don't need this stress. Okay, I, yeah. Um, also, I need to somehow figure out how to keep my celebrity status up while I'm in school, which also takes up time. So... We're just going to throw stuff in every once in a while. Lost got a major in mortuary science. No, Jack, I did not. We went over this earlier. I went to a fucking ass expensive school and I got a double major in molecular biology, molecular biology and neuroscience and a double minor in chemistry and psychology. Suck it. I'll analyze your ass. I am a master of the STEM degrees. Also an overachiever. <laughs> Yes, I'm also managing a full-time... Are you Mrs. Claus? What the fuck? Oh, no, that's my friend. Oh, she's gonna die soon, too. She's my BFF. She was one of the first friends I made when I became a celebrity. Oh, I don't know what she's doing here. She's not that smart. Okay. How is this term paper going? Oh, no, I'm still playing Sims. Shit, I'm still playing video games. This is me in real life. <laughs> I'm like, did I get my homework done? No, I'm still playing Sims. Fuck. <laughs> tap juice keg. I forgot to tap it. Shoot. We're slowing down already. I need to tap the juice keg. Come on. Tap the juice keg. Tap it. We're running out of time. We don't have this time. We need to tap the juice keg. Holy shit. Okay, she's bad at this. There we go. Tap it. Tap it. Tap the juice cake. Come on. You got this. Did I do it? Okay. Fill cups with juice. We're gonna do a keg stand. I don't care who. Just everyone. Let's do all the keg stands. All of them. Let's do it. We're gonna be so sloshed going into class today. It's gonna be great. Whoa! I drank the entire thing? Holy shit! Am I sloshed as fuck? I'm juicy confidence. I tapped the keg, did a keg stand, 
and drank the entire thing. What the fuck? That had to be the smallest keg ever. There's no other way. I have to thank Giz for coming. <laughs>